the very first time somebody opens up the robot, they'll take them out of the box and they'll smile and they'll move toward the robot and want to interact with the robot. But a lot of times we find after we've come back, the robot has a new name or it has a sweatshirt that says Tom Brady on it or it has a, a hat from their local sports team. We, we get a lot of unsolicited pictures of our customers hugging their robots. I, I can be pretty sure that most pieces of equipment in the typical factory aren't being hugged. Industrial robots have been around since the 60s. 1961, in fact, was the first robot at the GM plant. But these industrial robots, they're big, they're inflexible, even a little menacing. This is where Rethink Robotics comes in. The company's vision is for robots that work alongside humans, guided and taught by these same workers. Robots who can play that role have to behave and look quite different. And they have to overcome five plus decades of practice and convention about the proper role of robots in the factory. Baxter's a robot that you um, show it how to do its job rather than program it. You pick its arm up, you show it how to perform a task, and then once you do it, it knows how to do it, and it'll do it over and over again. And so we really looked at it and said, okay, so you've got all of these tasks that can't be done with a regular robot. They're very expensive, and you need a, you know, an engineering degree to be able to program them. There has to be a different way. And that's really what led to us creating Baxter. Tune in and learn how these companies are doing business the other way and rocking it. You can stream the show at radio.agencypja.com or subscribe on iTunes.